Last time on Treasure in the Sky, first chapter. We explored the old schoolhouse, prepared to say goodbye to everyone, only to find that the matron and the kids had been attacked. We followed C to the lighthouse here, and we are currently climbing the tower to find out who's behind the attack. Here they come again! Looks like we don't have any choice but to put them down the hard way. Let's give it a try. Once again, no damage. Why does that keep happening? You know this is the perfect place to use Hurricane. Oh, that's not great. single target Our lesson that we need to take out the leader first because otherwise they can resurrect. Uh, let's do another hurricane. There's clearly going to be at least one more fight. Oh, that's bad. Diving bomb, you can't get close enough, okay? You that is very bad, okay. Well, you need to die. We're good to go. Get him up. Cool. That's what I like to see. Self up, followed by a reviving bomb on Agate. Uh, hurricane. Cool, one's dead. That, on the other hand, that's just assholish. I was worried that would happen, but I get it so far ahead of us anyway. It's still in common. Interesting. Okay, let's have a meal, shall we? I would like that, but I don't have any eggs. I will have a cheese risotto. That's what I'm looking for. Items. What do I have food wise? And the rest we've got fried chicken. Still need a bit more. Hope your ice cream learnt. Okay, we are good to go. Rocco. I'm really sorry about this. I really don't want to fight with anyone being controlled, but this isn't the time to be holding back. You don't need to kill them. Just knock them out. Uh, 
Okay, I don't have any craft available. Which is a ballistic wave of energy. So right now, not exactly the best move out there. This could work. Just keep delaying him so he can't attack us. Damn it, why'd you miss? Focus on trying to get this guy down. There we go. Now he's going to be stuck trying to revive him. Which means... He can safely heal himself. And Estelle can try out her new move. Didn't do as much en uh, damage as I'd hoped, but it's a nice little effect. Yeah, that's fine. I expected that. Uh, let's keep him alive. It's gonna be overkill, but I wanna see this. Beat down. That's some nice critical damage. Oh look, it's just you though. So I think I was wrong the second time and I should focus down the uh, ads. Okay, that's it. Hey, you hear that? <laughs> A job well done. Now we'll be able to blame this mess on these punks and everything will work out perfectly. So I take it you're satisfied with our work? Yes, you've handled things nicely. But just to make sure you haven't left any incriminating evidence, right? Got nothing to worry about there. And even when those fools regain their senses, they won't remember a thing. The lighthouse keeper shouldn't wake up until morning either. I'm relieved to hear that. With this summation of the orphanage should give up on her dreams of rebuilding it. And this series of incidents along with this arson will end up looking like the work of those lowlifes. We can get two birds with one stone. It's perfect. Glad to see that our clients are happy with our work. Oh, if you don't mind me asking, what's the benefit of destroying that orphanage? 
That's the one thing I've been having a hard time understanding. Please. If you really want to know so bad, I'll let you in on the secret. The mayor intends to transform that entire area into a series of very upscale vacation homes. Interesting. A scenic seaside area not far from Ruan City. What more favourable geographic conditions could there be than that for a vacation home? We'll build lavish estates there and then sell them off to the highest bidders. That's been the mayor's plan all along. Now that's a ritzy plan if ever I've heard one. I still don't get why it was necessary to burn the orphanage to the ground. Think about it. Imagine trying to sell a luxury estate to someone with a ramshackle place like that, Mario. Not to mention all the little brats running around close by and making a ruckus. I see. Something like that would definitely cut the value in half. But instead of going to an extreme like that, why not just buy up the place? Really? You didn't really think that stubborn woman, woman would sell off the land left over by her late husband, did you? And if we were to haul away the burned out remains while they were away and build something in this place, there's not much they could do, could they? And since they have no money to rebuild the place, I have no choice but to accept their fate. That was your reasoning? How long have you been standing there? For something like that? You hurt Matron Teresa and the children and burned their memories to ashes? You deprived those children of their smiles? For that? How did you know we were here? Or that, what are those lowlifes doing downstairs? Too bad for you, they're taking a long nap. And I think that the mayor was behind it all. Plus, some faces we've seen before seem to be involved too. So, you know who we are, do you? We have been briefly acquainted with our red-headed racer before. So, running off with dogs like your tail. Like dogs with your tails between your legs and sickening some monsters on me means we're acquainted, huh? But now I've finally got you where I want you. Kill them! Kill them all! Now that they've seen my face, I can't let them walk out of here alive. It's unfortunate that you've fallen this far, Gilbert. Well, since this is a request from our client, I guess we'll just have to comply. Let's see what you've got, Braces. That's exactly what I was thinking. Just because you're hired help, don't think you're any less responsible. I think it's time to make you taste the power of the heavy blade. Let's do it. That's a sizable hit to start off with. Delay him as long as possible. Uh, let's go with Petrify Breath and then straight into a Napalm Arrow. Unfortunately, it didn't stun. But that's okay. Perfect. Crap, I wonder if this revives. And if I got off weight just a second too late. It does revive. Perfect. You go down. And now. Let's delay your next attack. Oh, that was unfortunate for you guys. That did not work out at all, did it? I got Chloe's uh, limit break at just the right time there. This can't be. Gilbert, steward of the mayor and you boys in black. In accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you are hereby placed under arrest. Give it up and surrender. You're pretty tough, I'll give you that. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with you hasn't disappointed me at all. 
So the lieutenant's going to be mad. He warned us about this. We shouldn't have been as careless as we were. The lieutenant? You mean that guy wearing the red mask who's negotiating with the Sky Bandits? I'm surprised you know about that. It was like you dogs from the guild are better at sniffing things out than we thought. Your insults are pretty funny considering we just gave you a serious beatdown. Now hurry up and throw down your weapons and surrender. Sorry, but we can't do that. What? What do you think you're doing? Don't move. I'm any closer and this guy's brains are going to be splattered all over this place. What is the meaning of this? What do you intend to do by threatening your employer? You're wrong about that. You are not our employer. The mayor is. However, it was you or the mayor here, the outcome would have been the same. We only cooperated with you because we shared a mutual interest. And we couldn't care less whether you live or die. Please, don't shoot. Don't shoot me. Cut the tears and the crap. Don't even get away by trying to fool us with a show like that. Oof. My leg. Ah, my leg. Gilbert. Looks like they were serious for what they said. If this isn't enough of a show for you, then how about we blow the brains out of the lighthouse keeper? He has nothing to do with this. If his life means not anything to you, then I suggest you back up. Let's see, like over by the stairs. Seems like we don't have much of a choice. <laughs> That's right, do what you're told like the dogs you are. It looks like this is where we bid you farewell. Wait! Don't think you're getting away this time. Oh, they had an escape rope. A rope? These guys were seriously prepared for anything. I'm leaving you to take care of that idiot steward and the rest. What? I'm going after these guys. The rest of you can report to John and ask him for further instruction. Did you see that? Didn't we go after those guys too? No, didn't you just hear what Agnes said? You can't just forget about Gilbert and those guys from the Raven game. That's right. Though I think Gilbert got what was coming to him, he's still hurt. Oh, alright. I hate to say this, but I guess we'll have to leave the rest up to Agate. These mysterious individuals. Thus, in the end, the cell and the others were able to take back the soul and money without incident. By the time the mayor's steward and the group of delinquents were safely locked up in the Minoria windmill shed, morning had already broken. Now then, I'll keep an eye on things here. Could you return to Ruan and report back to John? That's fine with me, but are you sure you'll be okay? Come on, I just got a whiff of sleeping powder is all. What happened a little too fast for me to remember who attacked me though? Pretty shameful, I know. Don't beat yourself up over it. You still managed to fend off four attackers. The children are safe thanks to you. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> well, I guess there's that at least. So, will Aga be okay facing them on his own? I know he's tough and all, but it still worries me. Yeah. They somehow managed to get the drop on him. But now we just have to trust that he knows what he's doing. He's been after those guys for a while now. He knows how they work, so that I think they'll have a tough time taking him on. Yeah, I guess you're right. We'll just have to focus on what we can do. You're right. You're exactly right. I'll hang on to the donated money until the matron wakes up. If those guys want it, they'll have to pry it out of my cold, dead fingers. You can count on me. I'll be fine, so you go on ahead. Alright, be careful. Let's go, guys! And away we go. Now that we are without Agate, it's time to go back to Ruan. 
Elmore was behind everything. He was just pretending to be all kind and everything from the start. Um, I've been kind of wondering about this. But will we be able to catch the mayor this time? Huh? She raises a good question. This may be difficult. Grace Guild has a non interference policy when it comes to government affairs. Considering he has control of the Ruan region, Grace and the mayor isn't going to be easy. Hold on a second, doesn't anyone else find that strange? It is funny, but the law is the law. That's why the guild can have branches everywhere, even in the Abronian Empire. Yeah, but still. Anyway, let's just get to the guild and talk to John. I think he'll have some useful advice for us. Okay. I'm fine, don't worry about me. We just need to make the man in charge pay his tab. Yes, that's right. Off to a ruin we go. I will see you over there unless something comes up. That is not what I meant by something coming up. Um, um, what is it, Chloe? Well, are you two going to the guild? I just remember something I need to do, so can you go on ahead without me? I'll catch up to you shortly. That's fine. Are you going back to campus then? Yes. I think I should report into the headmaster and let him know what's happening. Hmm. Okay, I got it. I'll be waiting for you at the guild. Dear Chloe. I'm sorry, so you too, Joshua. Chloe pushed a notepad the pen and began scribbling through the There's so much to do it. Let's see. What are you up to, Chloe? I understand. It's just hard to believe that Mad Downmore is behind these recent events. Hmm, this is certainly a major incident. So, John, do you think the mayor can be caught? Well, I'm afraid it's going to be rather difficult. The only way it will really happen is if he can be caught in the act. I figured as much. You can't be serious! So we just have to allow a corrupt mayor to stay in power? Now, now, there's no need to panic. Racing Guild's hands may be tied, but the Royal Army can get him. Oh! Still, Joshua, I'd like for you to go to the mayor's estate and question him. Doesn't matter if he gets angry, I just want you to buy us some time. And you will contact the Royal Army in the meantime. Precisely. I'll contact Lyston Fortress Headquarters with the oral communication system to request assistance. I don't like having to rely on the army, but I don't see any other option. Okay, once Chloe catches up to us, we'll go see the mayor at once. We made it. Sorry for the delay. Not at all. Perfect timing, in fact. That was pretty quick for a run to the campus. Um, well, I'm pretty fast to my feet. So, what's the plan? We were just talking about going to the mayor's estate. We have to stall him with an interview while the Royal Army is contacting Ah, I see. Maybe that wasn't so necessary after all. Um, so will you be coming with us? Oh, yes. Please allow me to accompany you. We can't tell you to contact the army, John. Just leave it to me. First. Hey, it was just the one, and we have already cleared it. Report. Nice. Okay. But, we will go talk to the mayor next time on Trails in the Sky, first chapter. See you then.